Welcome back to the sixth stage comic creative visualization exercise that we've been doing over the past three days and this is day four and this is the really exciting point over the last three days I've led you through three creative visualizations all of which have kind of helped you construct your environment your character and this narrative that we're now going to start building. So now you really get onto the making and for the next two sessions we're not actually be going to go through a creative visualization. This is going to be about doing some active creating, these exercises which will help you. So today we're focusing on something called your vision and your vision is with your eyes how you see your story, the visuals but also your mind behind the narrative. So this is about bringing together the concept that you put together on the first day, the character that we activated on the second day, and the narrative that you formed yesterday. And it's about making this vision, and it's an overall story. If you brought all those things together with concepts of how to create your comic, you would now be in the position to start making. So part of creating this vision is storyboarding. And lots of comic book artists will be familiar I mean, every comic book artist will be familiar with storyboarding, but for some of you who this may be your first time, storyboarding is a process where you create thumbnail drawings, which are small drawings of scenes, which are very much sketched. They're not final drawings, and they illustrate how you see your comic being put together. So each panel, you create a thumbnail, which is very loose, very creative, allows you time to you know, process these things and experiment. But creating this storyboard is really vital because it shows a story arc, it shows how the characters move, it shows how each panel transitions from one to the next, and I think it really, really helps. And storyboarding is uh, traditionally known as a technique in animation, but it can be brought in with comic book artists who might create thumbnail sketches of their entire graphic novel before even started. And I like to think of it as the same way as storyboarding for an animation. You're showing visually how your story is going to be created, how your character is going to move through these different scenes. And this time, because it's a comic, you're thinking about it in terms of the pages and the layout and the construction. If there's text and when there's going to be these high story arcs and when that character is going to become low again. So this is the exercise that you're going to do today. And I'm not really going to guide you through this exercise because I've explained what it is and really it's just a creative process for you to go through. And I really hope that the last three exercises have taught you that the less you cling on to your expectations, the less you limit yourself, the less pressure you put on yourself, the more successful your outcome will become. So now... All I want you to do is pick up your notebook and spend maybe 5, 10, even 20 minutes writing out these storyboards. See your character. What is your story? Where is it? Who is your character? Are there any names? What's the start? What's the end? And just bear in mind that tomorrow, on the fifth day of this process, you're going to be making your comic. So you want to create a story which is manageable. This comic might be three panels. This comic might be three pages, it might be four. If you have a whole free day tomorrow, you might dedicate more time to it. But just know that there's no rush, because even if you created a comic which is a one-page set of panels today to make tomorrow, this doesn't mean that you can't revisit revisit it and turn it into a whole graphic novel. There are no restrictions here, but just bear in mind that the actual making of this short comic is going to be a one-day process. And within that day, you might only spend about 20 minutes doing it. So I'm going to leave you here with this and just let you have fun with it. So create that vision. Make yourself thumbnail sketches, your storyboard, so that tomorrow when we come back and you're ready to make this comic, you have a clear vision of not only what you're drawing and the visuals, but what sort of story you're trying to tell. So thank you so much for joining me again. Feel free to let me know if you have any kind of hiccups, any limitations, and I can always guide you through this and offer you further guidance than are just available on these tracks. So I shall see you back here tomorrow to make the comic, and I hope you're really excited. Thank you very much.